All right, guys, guys, we got one of the goats of the industry in the building. We're gonna do this consultation. He's gonna struggle explaining what he wants, but we're gonna try to, you know, deal with it. What are you getting done today? So I would like a number two on the top. Okay. Number one on the side. Square the back, but on the corners, I want this a straight round shape on the corners. <laughs> all right. Not too square. And then I want a really high taper on the side. Really high taper. Get all the gray out as much as possible. All right. Can we do like a slash color right yeah, here on the top? Yeah, throw a little, throw a little throw right there. Little part in there. I want it about two inches long. I bet. Right? Coming out of angle. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's easy enough. Cool. Thank you, Shannon. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my dog's channel, man. Stop That's sleeping. Subscribe lens. <laughs> YouTube what is going on guys thank you guys for checking out another one of my daily videos today we're doing a tutorial we are cutting my boy s craft blends you can follow him on YouTube and on Instagram if you guys know you know he's a monster we're doing a number two on top and we're just gonna clear the top as quickly as possible so we can get ready to do this fate because we're gonna do a number one on the sides like he asked in the consultation Shannon works right next to me at the Land O'Lakes location um, and he's a beast all right, so once we've done that number two on top, now we're going to do that one and a half guard all the way around. And what I'm going to do is start fading down. Now, I did something different in this haircut tutorial. And I don't know if, like, if you guys could tell, but I'll let you guys know towards the end of the video what it was that we did differently. So... After the one and a half guard all the way open, we're gonna go one and a half guard all the way closed. And we shouldn't be if you're if you're using kind of like the 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 bevel of the guard, you shouldn't be leaving any lines, right? It should just blend down, um, and each guard should kind of complement each other. All right, so now we're gonna clear the clear the bulk with this number one guard. We're gonna do this all the way around. And then when we go to blend it in, blend it in, we're just gonna open the guard up like so. And it should blend right into that one and a half guard that we previously used um, as we were fading down. His hair is definitely gonna be a little bit more difficult than on most just based off the hair color right he's got the salt and pepper going on and that can always throw you off make you feel like there's some lines and stuff when a lot of times that's not the case but you know what people see is kind of perspective right so you got to create the illusion um, with this type of hair um, that it is nice and blended. So if you see a line, I like if I see a line, even though I know it's not, I'm still gonna do what I can to try to create the illusion that there's no line or demarcations or dark spots. All right, so now that we faded everything to a number one from a two on top, I went ahead and started my first um, initial guideline. We're gonna go ahead and bald it out with the shavers while we're here. We're gonna follow that up with the blade open for my first guideline now. It is just kind of fading to a number one, so you're not gonna see really pronounced guidelines. You're just gonna see just enough to keep you guided, right? To keep you organized. So once you've done that, we're gonna go clipper all the way close and open it as we as needed until it's blended. And then my last step is gonna be this half guard, which should blend right into that number one. You gotta go up about a half an inch. Um, and what I typically do was I'll start open and then I'll close it little by little um, and then just kind of, you know, detail from there. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and blend in the beard. If you notice, I started off with the one and a half guard and we're following the same steps, the same guides, except we're just going the opposite direction until it's all the way blended out. And that tape is looking pretty blurry already. All right, now this side was harder. <laughs> Don't get too, you know, you gotta stay humble, even though if one side comes out blurry, man, sometimes I just know this was this was too good to be true. I know the next side is gonna be difficult. And you can tell by his hair growth pattern, 
that is starting to grow like back toward especially behind his ear so we're gonna follow the same steps clipper close i mean um just the trimmer then the blade open clipper close open it little by little until it's blended like so and then the next step is going to be that half guard so i like to start off open and then close it little by little until it's blended and when i go up open i'm going up about a half an inch i'm trying to blend into that number one guard um, without creating a line and then we're just going to kind of detail right so um, i felt like i needed to spread the number one guard up a little bit higher so i did grab that number one guard and, and went ahead and did that now i feel comfortable to go ahead and detail and just make sure that um everything looks looks blended sometimes what i'll do guys is i'll just kind of follow all my steps when i can't really see what's going on but i feel like it could be better i'll just follow all my steps fading down if i fade it up and vice versa and like look at here i got my clipper all the way closed and look how high i'm going the reason why is because it's almost like a line and it's just dark hair right it's that it's the pepper in the salt and pepper right <laughs> that i'm trying to kind of pluck out kind of kind of try to just erase that out let's go ahead and blend in this side of the beard doing the same steps one guard open one guard close half guard open half guard close blade open close it little by little until it's blended out and then we'll refine it with the shaver all right so we're not going to fade out the back as instructed shannon wants it squared with rounded corners so i'm the first thing i'm going to do is line it up squared and then i'm going to round the corners that's the easiest way to accomplish it that tape is looking blurry it's a high taper but that's a blurry one all right again setting this the 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 neckline up to be squared and we'll go ahead and round it off after Valentina, I'm doing a voiceover, baby. Sorry, guys. My daughter. And then she comes and slams the door. Whoop. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, so you guys can see that I rounded the corners. And if you notice, guys, I pulled I pulled it on his scalp. I pulled it up and then kind of rounded the corners. It just makes it easier to, to accomplish and get a nice, tight lineup. All right, lining up the his front hairline, keep it trying to keep it as natural as possible while still giving it, you know, the sharpness. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and put in that part that that S craft was looking to get. So I curved it in just a little bit, just so that it kind of flows nicely into the part, as opposed to just going straight in, straight in. And he said he wanted it like you know two inches long, so. We're not gonna go too far back and we're not gonna make it too too small of a, of a slash. If you notice guys, I kinda just did my rough draft and then I followed it up with the with the razor. Because I feel like with the trimmer, you know, it's, it's big, it's bulky, it's hard to be really detailed. And the last thing I wanna do is make this line too thick. So um, I've, I felt like detailing it with the razor and then what, what you'll notice is I, I'm gonna kinda freehand um, overlapping hairs once you free free hand those overlapping ha ha uh, hairs look I'm even doing it with the razor okay once you do that that slash or um, that's that part is going to look a lot wider than it did previously because you're gonna get you're gonna expose the real line as opposed to and previously you know hair was overlapping it and so it made it look a little thinner than it really was All right, and of course, we're using 245 No Drip with the Beam Team XL compressor. We have a few left in stock. If you want a compressor, they're in stock right now. If they're sold out when you go to the site, it's, you waited too long. Um, but they're in stock right now. So if, you, if you're watching this, you know, probably like a half hour into the video, it might still be in stock. But if it's sold out, they sell quickly.
all right so we still we we had a nice clean line and a nice taper before the enhancement um but i just want the enhancement to just take it to the next level and after i enhance i always like try to go back in detail because what i feel like what happens when you put a darker line you see a little bit more contrast between the fade and the outside right the 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 frame of the picture and so you can see the fade the fades true blend for what it is so i always see like some imperfections after i enhance a cut just like after i line up a cut I, I can see some imperfections and so i always go back in detail a little bit all right cleaning up the beard it was so funny shannon was like um man if you would have told me about if i would have known sooner um i would have colored my beard made the made the cut look even fresher because um i actually hit him up yesterday and i was like bro i took vacation i got no youtube cuts lined up and my subscribers don't want to see reactions and vlogs all day so i gotta get a tutorial and bro let me cut your hair because he had recently cut all the length off the top he used to have kind of like a like a brush bag almost like an undercut right but man i gotta tell you the shortcut looks great on pastor shannon um my man got swag. He looked young. He pulled. He's pulling it off, man. I feel like he should have been got the cut. He waited too long. Yeah, let me know what you think about Shannon cutting off the hair on top, going short. I feel like he looked good with it, man. All right. So with the beard, he wanted to keep it a little bit higher, even though you know there would be kind of like some new growth there. Um, and so what we did, I, that's what I did. I tried to keep it higher as opposed to bringing it lower to make it as sharp as possible. We kept it higher. We're gonna enhance it to make to to make it a little bit sharper. Um, but you know, he's gonna have to grow that top line out just a little bit. I saw something here, but I put the shave gel <laughs> at his chin. And then I saw something, picked up my clipper real quick and, and cleaned it up. But the tape are looking clean, I feel like. All right guys, so, so what I did differently in this tutorial, I used two cameras. So you we're, going, we're cutting back and forth from two different M50s. Um, definitely one of them has, um, they both have different lenses i'm sure you guys could tell which one has the better lens but i just thought it was a dope concept to do um even though it's way more work way more work um but hopefully you guys saw the difference and uh the hard work paid off <laughs> so i'm just kind of freehanding his beard i did comb the beard out um he didn't want a lot of length off so i just kind of cleaned up you know just like very loose ends but i wasn't trying to take any any of the length at all you're gonna notice uh shannon talking throughout the whole time we 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 be having some great conversations man some some great conversations so guys this is pastor shannon before and this is the after. We gave him the, the super hot taper, almost looked like a ball fade. You know, freshened him up with the part. Number two on top, number one on the sides, super high fade, squared back, rounded corners. Guys, if you like the cut, consider subscribing. Guys, we drop content every single day. So if you're new to the channel, I'll see you tomorrow.